Hi everyone, my name is Sophia and I'm a senior at UNCC looking to better the mental well-being of young adults ages 18 to 24. Have you ever felt like you can't do it all? Those overwhelming thoughts and worries running through your mind because I definitely have, especially being in this phase of my life where there's so much uncertainty and a lot going on, a little bit of stress relief can make a difference in someone's day to day life, given our busy schedules. I first started out looking at the bigger picture, thinking that support groups and therapy was the answer to everything. But I learned through customer discovery that the common problem lies elsewhere and that it's really truly the little things that make the biggest impact. I am a psychology major looking to go into the healthcare field and me being an empath, I can easily relate to people, which makes me passionate about the mental well-being of others and I'm constantly advocating for it as well. The topic of mental health has been a very popular uh, conversation, especially since the pandemic and studies have shown that COVID also has a lot to do with it. Going from the lonely isolation period back to the crazy working, overwhelming environment can be exhausting and many people end up struggling to prioritize themselves. So what exactly is the problem here? The National Institute of Mental Health states that young adults ages 18 to 25 have the highest prevalence of mental issues and problems. And in addition to this, the Counseling Center at UNCC CAPS also stated that students coming to CAPS were having a hard time adjusting to the return of in-person classes along with juggling um, everything else going on in their lives. However, with CAPS, students are limited to only six sessions per semester. And from talking to people, I found that it is not easy to schedule those appointments due to scheduling conflicts or the high demand for therapy right now. However, through my customer discovery process and interviews, I learned that everyday stressors such as time management along with the overload of academic and work stress were the most prevalent issues and that's what people need help with. Um, young adults express the want to be more organized, manage and schedule time and have different outlets to help reduce their stress. Along with this, not having enough time and money also turned out to be a barrier in helping reduce their stress. These experiences of this age group indicated a clear need for an easy solution that doesn't require so much planning, time, and money. To bridge the gaps and overcome these barriers, I came up with a solution for those that need help in managing everyday stresses that don't include diagnosed conditions. Um, this comes in the form of an app called De-Stress there are already apps out there that exist for this purpose. However, they either cost money or don't have all the features that people would want and I would want to provide. This interactive application consists of journaling, breathing exercises, setting up reminders, organizing calendars, and has a platform for sharing any, any tips or struggles that people are being faced with. So the next steps would be to bring awareness to this problem. And I'm already talking to potential partners and other organizations that advocate for the mental well-being of others. So hopefully I can turn this plan into an action very soon. Thank you for your time.